The boys have been struggling lately to get out fishing, but when we have got out fishing, the fishing has been red hot. I have seen Milan getting railed over the side of Sojin, and I've also seen Milan with some huge kingfish in his arms. Not only has the fishing been good on board Sojin, but we have had the best land-based fishing that we've ever seen. Now I'm going to be honest and say I've done very very little land based fishing but Milan in his younger years spent hundreds if not thousands of days fishing off the rocks so for him to say that it's the best land based fishing that he's ever seen just gives it a little bit more weight if you know what I mean. November and December in New Zealand is a really, really good time to go fishing. And over the November and December period, myself and Milan plan to fish as much as the weather would allow. And the weather has allowed very, very little fishing. Myself and Milan had massive, elaborate plans to get Dick Johnson, our music man, out fishing and get a photo of him with a big kingfish. And not only get Dick out, but we also wanted to get Dane out from Marco Boats to get him a photo with a big, beautiful kingfish. But again, the weather just keeps smashing our plans to pieces. But tomorrow the weather and the stars have aligned and the boys have got one day to get out on the water and the weather is going to be perfect. And again, the fishing's going to be perfect. And Dane from Marco Boats has also got himself the day off work. Milan and Dane will be turning up here at a ridiculous hour tomorrow morning, which is why you are listening to me talking right now so that I don't have to do it at three o'clock in the morning tomorrow. But yeah, the boys are here super early tomorrow morning. We'll get Sojin all ready for a fishing mission and then we're making the run up the coast and we're going to launch at a boat ramp that we don't normally launch at because I hear stories of people waiting in line there to launch and retrieve their boat for at times hours. So normally we just drive right past that boat ramp and launch a little bit further up the coast. But November and December, everybody's super busy getting ready for Christmas, work and everything else. So my fingers are crossed that that boat ramp doesn't have hundreds of boats there ready to launch and there isn't hundreds of boats there when we return to put the boat back on the trailer. But maybe one of the reasons that the fishing is so good at this time of year is because again, there's far less people on the water and there's far less pressure on the fish. Launching at that boat ramp, however, is going to give us probably another half an hour in the boat. But again, the weather tomorrow is beautiful so the run up the coast should be just that beautiful now dane loves his fishing but he doesn't do a lot of the style of fishing that we do so to have dane casting a big stick bait and working that stick bait all day effectively i think's a bit of a push so instead there will be a big live bait in tow tomorrow with dane's name on it if that live bait gets eaten then dane is on the rod our first fishing stop, as I understand it after talking to Milan today, is an island right off the point of the peninsula. Now this island we've fished a couple of times in the last month or so and we haven't even seen a kingfish there. But that island is also a spot where we have in the past caught a number of big kingfish and it is always worth a look. So we're going to head there first, start our fishing day there. Having said all that, that is about as far as I can foresee on this one. I'm either going to stop talking right now because the boys are hooking into fish left, right and centre at that island, or I'm going to stop talking right now because there is no fish at that island. The boys aren't feeling the love and they are moving on to find something better. See you tomorrow when the fishing is good. It's all a little bit quiet on the fishing front at the moment. Nothing seen, nothing heard, 
but we did go and talk to Ricky. He's on land base today on the rocks, casting six baits off the rocks. And he's seen a heap of big kingfish here this morning at what, seven o'clock? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock and low tide is fast approaching. So at low tide, I reckon we go back and fish around where Ricky is and hope that those fish come back. Between now and then, we have a live bait out the back. Dane's casting a sluggo off the back and Milan's casting a stick bait off the front. And all the while we are ticking along the coast. So the fish that Ricky's seen might still be in the vicinity somewhere. Hopefully the boys can get something in front of them and they eat. Until then, we'll just keep at it until it's time for us to eat. What are we eating, Milan? Kawai. The mighty Kawai. The mighty Kawai for lunch. Bon appetit! It's good. It's real good. Did I tell you the weather is absolutely stunningly perfect? Things are looking up for the boys. Excellent. There's a heap of bait on this front side of this island. There's birds. Ooh, it looks good. First time today that it's felt fishy. Everything else today has kind of been like, mm, not feeling the love, but that. <laughs> that is big kingfish. Dane's about to get wasted. Ho not hopefully, he is. Here we go. There's thingies here, Mingle, and I can smell them. It's just Kurawais. They are. Yeah, there'll be kingies here somewhere, though. Yeah, there's kingies here, man. I can feel it in me bones, mate. I can feel it in me bones, mate. A big school of blue mau mau on the surface there. Oop, he lands in it. Gonna get wasted any second. Five, four, three, two, one. Wabumpa! No? Oh man. Too scared not to record. What was that over there? Look, that big white splash there. There, there, there. that's a kingy. No bird came up there, bro. Big splash, too. That was a big swirl, man. That was a big, big swirl. Oh, look at the big bow wave down the back there. Down the back of the school, straight down there. Big bow wave just came up. Come on, eat your buggers. Whoa, they're getting worked up, bro. <laughs> Oh, they just got another hiding over there. There's kingies around. I've seen a massive... Oh, what was that one? Come on, Milan. Might have to change my lure out. Oh, There's a kingie, kingie right there. Kingie right there. Yeah, big kingie. Hang on, wait, wait. Don't cast yet. We just seen a kingfish. Yep. <laughs> There's kingies here. 100% now. Your live eel get eaten, Dane. That's your best way to get one, I reckon. There, look. There, there, there. Big spool just there. Another swirl. <laughs> see that big boil on top of the water? You can see the big bow wave. Yeah, there's a, big, there's a big boil still there from where it came up. Oh, it's only a matter of time. I don't want to stop pressing the cord on anything. <laughs> oh, I caught a wave. Oh, well, we're about to find out if that thing is over there. Oh, live bait just got eaten. Yep, 
Grab it, grab it, Dane, grab it. <laughs> yeah, he's eating it, Dane. You've got him on. That's Pick it up, bail arm over and wind up tight and strike him. Put the bail arm over. Wind yep. up tight, one, one, rod one, down, one, rod one. tip down, rod tip down. If you feel heaps of weight, strike, strike. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> more drag, more drag, boy. <laughs> We're shallow water till you hit the drag. Dane's hooked up. Wine, 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 wine. Just watch that swinging sluggo. Uh, He's gone. gone. Put a hook in the back of that one, Leland. Yep. Ta hard luck, man. It's just. Oh, he's on it. Let it go back. Let it drop back. Drop back. He's gonna eat it again, Dave. Oh, I reckon stick a hook. Put a hook into something's back. Yep. Oh, he just ate it then. Whoa! Free, are you free spool, Dane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free spooling. Just keep on free spooling him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nah. Go. Going wide for fast. Hit him! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Round two! Hopefully we stay connected this time. Come on, man. <laughs> nice work, man. Look like a reasonable fish. Yeah, it's a big fish. We've got all day though now. Oh, I just pressed stop to change lens and the fish that Dane had on just yeah, hook pulled. But there are fish here, guaranteed. They have been sighted, they've eaten baits, we've had That's fish swirling on the surface, <laughs> it's on. It's only a matter of time before Dane sets a hook in a fish and it sticks. And they're literally popping up around the boat and hammering stuff and going back down. <laughs> it's on! I reckon you could be in with a chance. Where? On the surface right there, see where those carway jumping out of the water? Right there, look. See, just there. Just there, Milan. There he is, I can see him. Right there, look where the car are leaving the water. Over top of him. Oh, look at it, Dane, in the water. Leave your live, your live he's gonna get eaten, I reckon, now, Dane. Ah, oh, that'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> Got that! I've formed a million bloody lure follows with the <laughs> The first one I don't form and it gets eaten. Got that! Tail out of the water through the Yeah, yeah, shush man, I missed it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna change lens, go into wide lens. Oh, he's one over here. Oh, they're just kawai. It's they only look like, like eight metres of water. <laughs> God, I love this stuff. <laughs> Come on, Milan. Stick it to him, boy. Stick it to him. <laughs> oh, man. I missed the strike after all that. I would have followed 10 casts, one after the other. 60 frames zoomed in. And yeah, I missed it. Again. <laughs> we like big and strong. <laughs> I see him, Milan. Down on the deck. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Well, there's a bit of grunting and groaning going on. Nice fish, man. Yeah, I was pretty stoked with that. I didn't think it was that big. He's a good one, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh. Oh, nice work, man. God, the king of fishing up here is so good at the moment. What a long fish! Come here, Mr. Kickfish! Now, the idea was to come up today to catch Dana fish. We've got a big live bait eaten. And I think we've just got to keep on persevering and casting stick baits because there's a lot of kingies in amongst these kawai mau mau. And I think we're going to have a very, very, very good afternoon. Five <laughs> knot variables and the kings are feeding. Do I have Dane? Yeah, that, I'll have one of them, please. <laughs> Do it then, man. 
Over you go, big fruit. Things just got real interesting real fast. I put the drone up, no sooner did I put the drone up, guess what, NATO scene. <laughs> there was a massive kingfish, real light colored one. I seen three or four different ones, but there was a real big one, a real light colored one that was at least three times as long as the kawai, and the kawai here are big. I'd even say four times as long as the kawai, which puts that fish at, I don't know, a meter 20, a meter 25, a meter 30. I don't, I'm just guessing here, but anyway, it was big. I followed him around with the drone for ages and watched Kawai jumping out of the way in front of him. And he was on the surface, looked good, looks like he was gonna eat. The boys put a couple of casts over him two or three times, but doesn't want a lure. But if he's chasing Kawai, he'll eat Kawai. So we've got a Kawai at the back right now in tow and we're just gonna drive around this school in and amongst it, around and around it, through it, over it, and hopefully get that live bait in front of that fish and hopefully he eats. Oh, and no sooner did I put the drone down and um, start filming, I actually recorded a strike. Check me out. Oh, come on, eat the stick, oh, yeah. he did eat it. <laughs> and I was recording. Oh. Did he pull it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, and I got the strike. Oh, that was a huge fish. Gutted. That'll be the one I seen with the drone, man. Gutted. He's Is still it... feeding, though. You look reckon? Him. Look at his bell wave. You just pricked him, right? Yep. Oh, another one up. You reckon it's a kingfish? Massive boil on the back of it. Hopefully it's a different one, because I've seen like two or three of them in, with the drone. Come on. Wow. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's somewhere out there, man, and so is your live bait. Yeah. Come on, Kingy. I want a photo of a big kingfish in your arms, man. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Who says men can't multitask? Eating a biscuit and work in the lure. Gonna go up to the point, gonna fill up some car wire, gonna cook up some food, gonna put two burly bombs in the water, gonna pump a burly trail, put a couple of live baits out. Lunchtime should be good, and if not, we've got the incoming tide, and we've got two or three more hours to catch Dana Fish. <laughs> Lateral line style lunch, Dane. Not bad. It's pretty good, eh? Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah, man. <laughs> the mighty Kahawai fish fingers for lunch. Milan styles. <laughs> awesome. Bellies are full. The tide has now changed. We've just been mucking around over the low tide. The current is now going to hit this side of the island, and there's already bait stacked up here. There's schools of birds, schools of birds, flocks of birds on schools of fish. 
and hopefully the kingies that we've seen on that side of the island are now on this side of the island and things are about to get very, very entertaining when Dane hooks into a monster. Whoa, oh. big kingy right there. Yeah. Get him, Milan. It's a good kingfish, that one. Come on, fish right there for me. Boom, boom. Big fish, Dane. <laughs> Oh, we just seen our first kingfish for the incoming tide. Oh, it's beautiful. God, you should see it, Milan. It looked amazing. It's only amazing if it catches up. Monster. Well, after lunch, everything looked really, really good. The current started, the bait come to the surface. There were birds everywhere. We spotted a kingfish, but that was about it. The current started, but it didn't build like I hoped it would. We're in a really good moon phase at the moment. Well, I thought we were on a really good moon phase at the moment, but yeah, the current just didn't really kick in. Normally the current drives hard up against the front of that island and pushes all the bait in there. And obviously when the bait gets pushed in there, all the predators move in there and yeah, it can get pretty crazy. But considering that current didn't come as expected, the boys ended up pulling the pin pretty quick because we had a pretty long run down the coast, which we have done. We're only now like 20 minutes away from when we launched the boat. We've just stopped here, dropped the last of the burley in the water, dropped some live baits in the water. There's a few snapper baits going out the back. But if nothing too major happens between now and putting the boat on the trailer, then this will be the end of the video. Chur chur, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. It is um, greatly appreciated. And I just want to say another massive chur chur to Dane from Marco Boats. Not only Dane from Marco Boats, but Craig, Lachlan, Kevin, Helen, Brian, Josh, and to anyone else down at Marco Boats that I've missed, Church, my brothers and sisters, we really, really appreciate the support. Without Marco Boats, without Dane and his team agreeing to build Sojin, the lateral line would never have started. And of course, Sojin would not exist. Myself and Milan have had a ton of fun out of that boat over the last couple of years, and it's gonna be sad to see Sojin go, but Myself and Milan are really, really looking forward to going through the boat building process with the team down at Marco Boats to create Sojin 2.0. Sojin 2.0 is gonna be amazing and it's going to be the dream boat for creating the lateral line. Cheer, cheer, my brothers and sisters at Marco Boats. Looking forward to the future. Cheer, cheer, mate. Last but not least, did you make a build video? Yeah, I'm a bit lacking, but I will get it for you. You need to get your A <laughs> into G, man. <laughs> I will. Constantly getting held up because Milan's busy, 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 busy. You'll have a build video soon too. Just another wonderful day on site. Nothing better than watching brick after brick find their new place in life in the solidness of a brick wall. I was told when I started the build that if you went with brick claddings, find a team of bricklayers that were masters of what they do. Greg, Joel and Bevan are a merry bunch of men that take extreme pride in what they create. I think all good tradesmen create art. When they love what they do, you can see it when they turn up on site. They are upbeat and love the fact that they are there to do their chosen profession. The merry team of three bricklayers have been with us for about two weeks now and have another four weeks to go. And at that stage, we are hoping to have the house fully locked up with garage doors installed. That will be a very impressive day as it will be another massive milestone for Andre and I. It's been a massive job for the two of us, but we have taken it head on and enjoyed the process to date. With the bricks coming together, Andre and myself have been busy on the inside. Andre has been nogging and sorting the ceilings out, ready for linings. The ceiling linings will hopefully be the last of the heavy lifting. 
We have enlisted the help of a jib lifter and Nathan on the odd day when he's not in the bush shanking deer. Getting jib fixed to the ceilings isn't for the light-hearted. And when you are dealing with full-length sheets, it makes it even harder. To break the grind of ceilings, we had the stairs turn up, and it was a pleasant change of pace and an afternoon of fun to install a major part of the house that would make access to the upstairs so much easier. And again, it was just another job completed to bring us closer to the end. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to the day that we finish the build and I get to move in. All made so much better due to the fact that I helped in the process of putting this beautiful home together. Bring on the end of this fantastic build as then every time the weather allows, I can get back out on the water. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.